Well, Netflix releasing the sequel to its Knives Out franchise last Friday. Glass Onion, which had a limited theatrical run over the holiday weekend, scored an estimated 13 million at the domestic box office. So how did the movie perform on Netflix over the long holiday? Yahoo Finance's Ali Canal joins us now with the numbers. And Ali, it looks like it was a big hit. It was a big hit. 82.1 million hours streamed in the first three days on the Netflix platform since that December 23rd debut. But still, that is not enough to put this movie in the top five Netflix film debuts of all time. It actually secures it in sixth place behind Sandra Bullock's The Unforgivable, Ryan Gosling's The Gray Man. The number one film debut is still Red Notice with nearly 149 million viewing hours in the first three days. But you mentioned that limited theatrical release over the Thanksgiving week, only about 600 theaters. It was not available in every state or any every city, but industry insiders still estimated that the film brought in $13 million domestically. And we even heard from Netflix CEO uh, Reed Hastings, who said that, the, that they left a lot of money on the table by not extending this theatrical release. So considering the debut was so-so, I think they might revisit that strategy in 2023. Uh, all that being said, you know, this film could still add viewership throughout December into 2023. I know I'm going home tonight to watch this. I know a lot of people on our team have already binged this. We see we have a 93% critic and audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. So I think word of mouth will help add to this. But again, that debate between streamers relationship with the box office, that's a big story that I'm going to be watching in 2023. I always thought that, you know, Netflix doing this box office strategy kind of added a bit more oomph to the streaming side of things in terms of like getting kind of notoriety for the movies that are that are on the platform.